everybody. Welcome to Corrections August. End of August. I said Cinnabon. It's Cinnabon. I've often got that wrong. And I looked it up, and I guess one of the reasons they went with Cinnabon is because Bon is French for good. And if you've ever been in a LaGuardia holding a Cinnabon, I think you probably thought, this is how the French eat. <laughs> Speaking of LaGuardia, I said it would be a good pangram on Spelling Bee. I was told by a bunch of Spelling Bee fans, no pangrams, Spelling Bees do not accept proper nouns. Also, a lot of LaGuardia themed errors this week, guys. I talked about flying direct from LaGuardia to LAX. There's no flight direct from LaGuardia to LAX. Um, because LAX won't allow flights from LaGuardia to land. <laughs> but then we showed a ticket, like a hypothetical ticket, for my, my non-existent LaGuardia flight. And the flight number was NY2356. Multiple people said, that would be an Iceland air flight from Reykjavik to Isle Sterthir. <laughs> you have a jackal hearts, jackal brains, eagle eyes. I mean, what would a jackal with eagle eyes even look like? I guess like this. Not available anywhere. I talked about how when I do my Vince Vaughn impression, it has to be three buddies. Buddy, buddy, buddy. That's Vince Vaughn. And that if you add a buddy, it's no longer Vince Vaughn. It could be anybody. When you go buddy, 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 buddy. Some people said that's actually, now you're doing Tweaky, the robot from Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> buddy, 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 buddy. Not the new Battlestar, the, orid, the classic, the 1978 Battlestar, which Shoemaker and I always talk about. The best special effects. <laughs> Timeless. Watch it now, it's not dated at all. And, I hate to say it, no offense to the big guy upstairs, but when you ask me who my favorite Canadian Lorne is, Lorne Green. <laughs> Close number two, great Lauren Green. But now I think you, now, after somebody's made this buddy, 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 like now I wanna remake a Battlestar with Owen Wilson as Starbuck and Vince Vaughn as Tweaky. Hey, I think that girl over there is looking at me. Buddy, 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 she's a Cylon. <laughs> wow. All right, so like two weeks ago, we made a knitting, we, we, you know, we basically conflated knitting and crochet. And then last week, I guess, maybe even two weeks ago, I read a comment, a very foul-mouthed comment from someone in the knitting community. And then my observation was, well, I guess my stereotype was wrong about knitters. I did not think that they were prone to cursing. Based on saying that, I caught a world of hell. And I should say, what happened was it seemed like a very popular, uh, a very nice woman who seems to be of the knitting community. Uh, she clipped out just me talking about knitting from Corrections. And I cannot stress this enough. Corrections is meant to be seen as a whole. <laughs> Ideally, you have to watch all of them. If you're coming in late, you're missing so much. So anyways, I guess she posts like, you know, here are the Seth Meyers thinks about knitters and they have, they have come after me. And so I would say now about knitters, uh, here's my new stereotype. You are of, of various, you are of all ages, uh, cursed like sailors, don't have a great sense of humor about knitting jokes. <laughs> but it's so funny because I think people often say like, oh, you must get so much negative feedback from people based on the kind of show you do. And I will say, this is the truth. Um, it's not MAGA people. It's not anti-vaxxers. The two worst 
storms we've ever had at this show are uh, knitters slash crocheters and uh, the marching band community. Do you remember we made a joke about marching band? It was so bad we, Shoemaker and I had to live upstate. <laughs> Those are the people, marching band and knitters. I do not, I wish you no ill will. I do not want in trouble because I'm very, I'm very confident at this point that my last breath will be, I'll just be like lying in bed and I'll hear like bum, 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 and then just take a, like a knitting needle to the eye like Mo Green style. I said as soon as I was uh, able to get the vaccine, I lined up. I was told by somebody you cannot, one person cannot line up. You have to, it's a plural, it has to be plurality of people to line up. When you're one person, you can either get in line or you can join a line. Uh, no man, it's a, the classic John Donne poem. No man is a line. That's for this, that's, that's for a spelling bee, people. So I, we talked about there's no left-handed flutes and um, there's some, but they're very hard to get and they're expensive. And I was, uh, I thought, I was even hopeful that it was just prejudice against left-handed monster people. <laughs> but it's not. Somebody said, like, we well, think about it. If you're in an orchestra, you can't, they all have to, if people are sitting, they all have to go the same way. Because if, like, I'm going this way, and then it's like this. <laughs> I said last week that something was an homage to Johnny two times in, the, in Goodfellas. It's Jimmy two times. Now I'm worried I have it wrong again. I think it's right. I, the problem is, for me, is I saw a director's cut <laughs> where, you know, it's the famous scene where Ray Liotta, uh, his character, which I think was, I think Ray Liotta, I think he played himself. <laughs> and he's going through and he's like, there was Jimmy two times who was called that because he said everything twice. I'm gonna get the papers, get the papers. And then his brother Johnny two times who also said everything twice. I'm gonna get the peppers, get the peppers. And they cut that. <laughs> Cause like, I think even Scorsese was like, it's redundant. But that's what I saw, so that's why I got it wrong. We've been talking about, uh, made a joke about a Walmart in Astoria. There was no Walmart in Astoria. And then people in Oregon said, there is a Walmart in our Astoria. And then other people said, no, that's in Warrington. It should be noted there is an airport called the Astoria Airport, also in Warrington. But <laughs> a little fun fact I found out is, uh, you know what movie they filmed in Astoria? Goonies. Do you remember Goonies, Shoemaker? It was good. It was good enough. It's good enough for me. <laughs> a lot of fun characters in Goonies. Sloth, do you remember how Sloth talked? He would, I'm not gonna do Sloth. Can't do Sloth anymore. Can't believe Sloth was even allowed to be in a movie, but that's 1985. You can't go on stage and do Sloth. <laughs> Don't do Sloth. The motto in Impression Camp. <laughs> it's on the wall. Don't do Sloth. It's in Latin. <laughs> so you have to ask. You're like, what? They're like, Don't do Sloth. You're like, from Goonies? They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't do Sloth. Liked Rocky Road, I can tell you some fa Liked Rocky Road. Baby Ruth, love chunk. Rudy would make a good sloth. <laughs> Baby Ruth. <laughs> Speaking of impressions, can't. I said that when I did my Matthew McConaughey, uh, my uh, counselor at Impression Camp hung himself. <laughs> a lot of people said hanged himself. 
which then made me feel awful because I know the difference. He didn't hang himself. He was mad. He gets upset. Like, he doesn't like when we do McConaughey because he thinks it's hacky. And I did it during camp, at impression camp, and he does this really passive-aggressive thing where he takes a chair and then he goes over to the coat rack and just get, he like hangs like this, just like by the back of his coat. And then he kicks the chair over and he's like, leave me here. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then I'm like, what? And he goes, he's like, just like, just such a, he's a dick. And he's like, just leave me here. I don't wanna do this anymore. And I'm like, well, what, <laughs> what should I say to everybody? And he's like, say I hung myself. And I was like, well, don't you think that some people may think you like, and he's like, that's hanged. <laughs> they're bad, he's a bad guy. Like, I feel like I've talked about impression camp and like made it seem like really fun, but they're awful. The <laughs> counselors there, they just like drill you, drill you. You're like, I wouldn't need more cowbell. They're like, again, cowbell, again. I got a fever, again! <laughs> what else? Um, you know, this is, uh, this is the last uh, corrections uh, during Emmy voting. And I don't, I wanna make something clear. I, uh, I don't want an Emmy for this. I need it. <laughs> Um, sometimes I lash out. I lash out during corrections, but there is, there is a reason for that, which is, um, well, I think, um, I think Christopher Walken said it best. Because every once in a while, the lion has to show the jackals who he is. Okay. <laughs> we will uh, see you all in September. <laughs>